Oh man. This area is open. It's gonna, it's uh, between episodes, it's gonna make it interesting trying to keep track of where I've been so far. Hello. Are you in, you are a, wow. Yep, that's a gimp suit, basically. Or reverse, yeah, he's got a zipper on his face like Hellraiser. There's a lot going on here. Mean Tang, would you like some Mean Tang? Give me a buck and I'll let you do a little, you know, a little secret. It's better be good. Thanks, man. Here's the secret. You know that door right around this corner? Well, it leads to pumping station seven. If you break left in instead of right, there's a gate that leads to the, ro the root tubes, center station's underground substructure. If you take the root tubes all the way down into the core, you'll find a secret red light district where you can party till dawn. Um, I've probably been to the red light district more times than you have, buddy. Oh, um, I've probably been to the red light district more times than you have, buddy. We d why don't you just tell me something we don't know? Oh, well, did you know that the root tubes are infested with drug runners these days? It's been... It's become quite the little drug route ever since Duke Deuce lost the Gorian drug wars a few months back. And with all that heating, all the heating ducts, it's hotter than hell. Leather just seems to soak the heat right up. So there you have it. There's drugs! How am I supposed to know you already knew about the red light district? It's not my fault you were dumb enough to give me a dollar. <laughs> Losers weepers. You said you were going to let me in on a secret. That wasn't a fucking secret if I knew about it already. Loser. Oh man, I'm afraid to go there. There's still so much area out here to keep track of. Red, let's, let's see. There we go. Just took a moment to write down a red light district just in case. Just try to keep in mind that it exists. He said to wait for him here. He promised to come back. That was two days ago. He was a dashing young pilot. He swept me up into his world and said he would take me away from this place. I believed him. I bought two tickets to Democratus. We were going to start a new life there together. He took the tickets and said to wait for him here while he got the luggage. He'll come for me. I'm sure he will. Oh no. Well, that's not a that's not a story that ends well. I remember the first time I bashed into a, a punk's head in. It was the summer of 23. We were quelling a spat of civil unrest on Cortica. Man, those were the good, the days. I remember the feel of the whack as my arm absorbed the impact. I kept going for the eye. That single unblinking eye clubbing it till I cried till it cried blood I'll always remember that wonderful feeling creepy motherfucker every time I see one of those one-eyed bastards walking around I think of the first time sometimes it's hard to resist the temptation to relive that moment you're a psychopath and you're just telling me for some reason okay story time's over hit the road Jack um, why did you tell me all of that? I guess there's just no oversight at all, which I guess shouldn't be that surprising. No, I'm better at crossing my arms. No, I'm better at crossing my arms. Two months. There's no way we can get the stabilizer properly installed in that short amount of... Shh, get it done. That's ridiculous. How do you expect me to get the quality work from folks who haven't had a day off or a decent night's sleep in six months? You can't just... Shh, get it done. But you're being unreasonable, don't you see that? Shh, get it done. Oh, sod off. Get it done yourself, I quit. Bye bye. Well, the camera's really fixated on him. Wait, where is he going? <laughs> is he coming back? Did he go the wrong way? What's his deal? I think he just... I think he went the wrong way. Um... 
I can't catch up with him. Ah, that's not how the super speed works. Where'd that guy get off treating the workers this way? Without us, he's nothing. Well, now you lost your only employee. Not your only employee. That's not. not true. What? What are you doing? Are you getting it done? Me? No. Is that all he does? Is just command people to get it done, and he's just fake it till you make it all the way up the corporate ladder. Just keeps commanding people to push themselves, and, and, and without any context or understanding of who people are or what they do. It's kind of believable, honestly. A lot of people rag on Corticon, but the truth of the matter is we made it we made it possible for the masses to live in comfort for relatively cheap. So eat me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> He's very proud of himself. God, you guys know that one cop over there, like, fantasizes about popping your eye? Like, he just loves it. And he's done it before, so it's not just, like, a weird fascination, but a hypothetical. Like, he's, like, he's, it's, he's, like, he's, he's like a dog that's tasted blood already. It's, like, it's over. Blonde Chicago. These are names. That's Warren Whedon. He's leading a pseudo-religion whose faith is money, currency, their god. What else is new, right? Oh no. Oh, the moralists. <laughs> He's trying to recruit converts by speaking free today. But look out. Once he gets his meat hooks into you, he'll string you along until you're in the poorhouse. What a crackpot. Hey, you interested in, vet in investing in pipidri meat? Uh, for a second I thought he was actually going to say Bitcoin. I'm like, wait, what? When was this game made? <laughs> Invest in pitch pitchery meat. That seems... Aren't they a sentient? That's distressing. Yep, that's Warren Whedon. And when the great misfortune befalls you, your only protection will be your solvency. Save up, my flock. Make no mistake. In whatever form it comes, it will be a blight upon us all. Only two moments are inevitable. Death and the cataclysm. And when the great misfortune befalls you, your only protection will be your solvency. Yep, he's looping. Can you not interrupt while I'm speaking? Ah, uh, he can't talk to any of his people. Because he's given a speech and they're, they're sitting here being all realistic about it. Like in a lot of JRPGs, you could just... There could be like a whole like church procession going on and you could talk to each person at every pew. And the game just wouldn't really necessarily acknowledge that. Well, a lot of games work that way. It's a bit of a surprise to play a game where they're like, Excuse me, um, what, you think you're just gonna walk around this room and talk to everybody? I'm in the middle of something? Sir? Shitbag? This door opens. Ah! Um, what was that called? Send dormitory? How big is this area? Is this a thing I can quickly come into and then leave or... Shit. I'm trying to think of the best way to na navigate this area without getting completely fucking lost. Is this an entire, like, elevator? Hmm. The number one elevator in the galaxy. That door doesn't open. Garbage sender net. <clears throat> Local news? Send Dormitory opens five new floors. Providing more rooms than ever, Send Dormitory has now been more than doubled its capacity for sleepy business folk. We're very excited, says the hotel's owner, Grip Friendly. We have accommodations for over 5,000 guests now. The lower bunks extend near the stabilization core from the station, so please bring along radiation blankets or purchase them at the lobby counter. Vendo Mart, new toys. Happy Heart toys have been released in a new line of big and beautiful toys simulating various body part enlarging conditions. Though they have taken some flack from the less than sensitive, the creator of the new toy line defends her creations. We have no toys for us, said the Stito. Hijik Susan Benson, 
It's time my daughter played with a doll that has a behind as grand as her own. Other toys in the line feature swelled feet, enlarged crania, and ridiculously swelled mammalia. Baboobies. Local information. AGA, Allied Galactic Associates, bring you today. Bring your Tatum to today, tomorrow. There will be peace. Hmm. I think the local news is made, was the main, the two uses of the word local, I think, are the two times I can find out local information a bit. Hello. That's the clown we've heard about. That's head to the main story, right? Which, of course, makes it my lowest priority compared to exploring and so on. One day. Send dormitory. Not a lot of room, but a lot of rooms. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's check this place out. Maybe I'll check out the red light district too. I don't know. It's hard to figure out whether I want to prioritize exploring the uh, hub or the rooms. They made it easier on Anachronox because you, the hub was a series of well, like it wasn't one unified hub. It's a bunch of separate zones. So I would explore each zone, and then I explore each zone's like rooms systematically. But this looks like a huge central, like ring-shaped hub covered in little ex little uh, offshoots. I'm Trader Bot Norm. Wheel Deal Bucker Walk. Hello, sir. May I be of assistance? What do you sell? Belogo. Crystal. Oh yeah, these are the same things we saw before. I don't know why I'd want these things yet. Should I dada dada? Should I grow a mustache? Oh wait, you want a chamber, don't you? Two bucks a piece. An extra buck gets you a pillow. Alright. I'll take a chamber with the pillow, please. Uh this looks like where Luke dueled Vader. <laughs> Wait, I'm back? Are my characters fully healed or something? I don't remember if they were already or not. Maybe that's what happened. I haven't been in a fight ever since I got my new party member, funnily enough. Uh, does this elevator work without that? Uh, can I explore at all, or is it just that one isolated strange cutscene of scaffolding and that's it? Am I going to spot a collectible in this elevator? What? This camera done lost its mind. Okay, so if you rent a room at the guy, you rent a room, but otherwise you can walk around. Wow. How do you even get down there? Looks like Ilos in here. But also, this is an incredibly inefficient use of space. Like, they gave you tiny beds, and that's the shtick. But look how fucking empty and open the central area is. I feel like they've really misapplied their space here. But anyway. I kind of feel like I'm in the abattoir. You can't talk to these people, necessarily. It's a decent amount of sleeping space. It's a little claustrophobic inside there, but it's a decently open bed area. All things considered, compared to how it could be. <clears throat> and you can see out this big opening, so you're not, like, trapped, necessarily. I just dreamt I slipped out of my sleep chamber and fell down the shaft. That was harsh. Yeah, that'd be a little worrying. There's not even a rail here. Why Why is there even an open hole in the floor? Why wouldn't she just finish the grating? It doesn't seem to serve a purpose. It's just weirdly dangerous. But it'd be really hard to fall down there from your bed. But, you know, just in general, there should be a not a hole there. I just had a nightmare. The stars were falling. The universe was in flames. This is the seventh nightmare this month. I'm so scared. My dreams come true. Most of the time. That's why something big is going down soon. I can feel it deep inside. In the place where the dreams come from. Of course, I could be wrong. 
but I doubt it. That's why I picked up some nifty cosmic wristbands while I was in Crapton. Crapton? <laughs> Just in case. Did they cost a crap ton? <laughs> what is this? Why is this bed standing up? Is that a bed delivery system? Does it deliver beds? You are floating above that bed. You can't trick me. What? There's localized audio here. Who singeth at me? Maybe it's upstairs? Can I go further upstairs? I think. Dr. Nix. I didn't find one important artifact in Brabula. I can't return to the archaeology department on Sunder empty-handed. They'd call me a failure. Gasp! You don't think they'll put me in the Rainbow Sanctuary with the heretics, do you? Yes, I've got a ticket to Sunder. Now leave me alone. I'm not in the talking mood. They went and named one place Sender and another place Sunder. That's a bit of a choice when it comes to being able to tell things apart and remember names of places. It's up there with how the last game I played, Alpha Protocol, had two female reporters in the entire game that were both women with sh they're, like, they're both white women with shoulder length red hair that was parted down the middle. And it's like, why did you do that? <laughs> they could, you could have picked any other type of person to be the other reporter and you picked all the same checkboxes. Is that your favorite? <laughs> It's like, so it led to a confusion of like, are they the same? Is it the same person? Not like I memorized the names of people that are on the TV. What the figgity? Excuse me? Just fucking grab it, brah. It's not complicated, is it? Why do I stairs? How did you guys manage to make stairs complicated? Ha! Ah. Uh... Uh... Huh? No... Uh... BRB. Need the instruction manual again because I don't know what the controls are in this game. Uh, how do I use the camera? F11. You know, naturally. E Probably not good enough. That's probably not good enough. Collectibles? Yeah, that's not good enough. Got every Necronox symbol though, so that's cool. I'm hot shit, as it were. Uh, F11. Shoop. Well, that's some weird shit you got here. What's the creepy doll? I didn't know if that'd be a useful picture or not. Wait. Don't leave me alone, I'm not in a talking mood. Ah! You don't say! Not in a talking mood, you say? Oopsie. Ah! So you don't want to give me your tickets, huh? I understand. You're worried sick that you, ha that you haven't made up your mind one way or another. That's fine. I mean, I hate to bother you while you're trying to make such a big decision. It's just that you remind me so much of my sister. My sister Lucille. Oh, would have loved to ha the hell out of her. Hell, half my hometown did. 
Often more than once, she was an open young lady with a taste for the mundane, exotic, and everything in between. She brought home a different boyfriend to the family dinner every night. She especially had a soft spot for you Cordigans. Cord yeah, Cordigans. She said that something about the sol solitary eye excited the poet, poet inside her. The real kicker was that she brought home a bullion for dinner. I've never seen my mother drink more gory and wine. She could barely look at the kid, which was a real shame considering what an interesting lad he turned out to be. I must admit, even I had a hard time keeping my meal. I keep envisioning what my sister was going to do with him later that night. I'm not sure how my sister would tolerate the mechanics of it, but class bless her. If anyone was going to experiment, it was her. I think she just wanted to lay down with every type of alien in the galaxy just to say that she had. I think our little Burbulian was just another check on her very long list, and although it was a very short-lived affair, she dated him long enough to infect us all with his love of Burbulian cinema. He was especially a sucker for Burbulian New Wave movement. He introduced us to the worlds of, Ka of Karem, Tufrachaya, and Rodago. He made us uh, appreciate the film aesthetic based purely on the eloquent camera lenses which produced most cubist imagery. Rodago was the first to use the Chioscro filters in the Cubist lenses to great effect in the landmark film Spike 435. I don't know if you've ever seen any Berbulian cinema, but the interplay of light and shadow, fragmentary color schemes, and Doppler editing techniques make for highly charged filmmaking. Tufrudia took the concept of splinter theory of splinter theory to use the next degree of a groundbreaking film Pincher Crab Next. Her use of the indiscreet color tones and radial shutter techniques revolutionized the Berbulian film industry. These days, just about every film out of Berbulian features uh, fracture editing and trilateral focusing, but it, is, it wasn't until Karam's deep sight photography in the milestone Rosma that... Here, take my ticket to Sunder, please. Just go. Goodness. Destroyed. I've given you what you wanted, please just go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think about my main objective that much when I'm not actually pursuing it. I wasn't even picking up on the clue about whether or not he was the guy that I was supposed to be finding. It's just the fact that he's like, "Oh, don't talk to me." I'm like, oh, "I know, I know somebody who talks too much." <laughs> this is a clue, and then I did it, and I was a bad, bad boy. Uh, how the fuck do I get upstairs? This shouldn't be that complicated. It's just a stair. There's just an upstairs. Normal humans have to get there, right? And also human-like creatures. The fuck a do. Out. <laughs> Give me up. Uh, it's a red. I want it. They even sing. Adorable. Bzzz. We're back. Right, well, that's enough of that place for now. Every couple of years, someone tries to convince SE2 to phase out physical currency in favor of more efficient and cost effective digital money. But it ain't ever gonna happen. People like the way money feels. It has moral weight when you can count it in your hands. That's why physical currency will never be phased out entirely. Don't bother me if you're going to be so completely bored by my conversation. But... Alright. I think physical money is already on its way of being phased out in real life. I don't know. I get paid without, without using physical money and I pay for everything without using physical money. I just kind of keep some physical money on hand in case of, like, emergency situations where nothing else will work. And that's about it. Tom Repro. That's the Lip Kinger 4 over there. They had a Bafo conference last so October. You, have, you guys have October? Their singing voices are pretty good, too. They end every conference with a barbershop quartet rendition of Funny Money in Berbulian. Bet I could kill all four of them. What the f- <laughs> uh, You just constantly don't know where these conversations are gonna end. You really don't. The last line could go fucking anywhere. Just cause a company's profit growth is sky high doesn't mean you should dive in, right? The price of the stock's gotta jive too. 
Invest in stock only if the price is right as rain. You gotta invest fast and hard, baby. Run with the winners, the deep six, and deep six the losers, and quick. Invest aggressively. You gotta buy contrary to public opinion wisdom. No, really, scoop up all them junk stocks so nobody wants. Believe me, it pays. It's really hard to click on people that are past other people in this game. Invest in junk! Investors poo poo dividends. When the market's in the gutter, I'm in the pink. Invest in dividends. Uh, nobody agrees on how to economy, so I'm gonna leave now. Why don't y'all go fuck yourselves? What's that? I wanted to be a mime. Now I'm a banker instead. Life sucks. I walk this lonely road on the only road that I've ever known. Don't know for the, what the fuck these lyrics already forgot him. Something about Boulevard of Broken De Dreams was the point. Goat knife? Yeah, I know the creep. Did he tell you I was scalping tickets? That jerk. Man, I don't know. I don't do that stuff anymore. Wait, you're the scalper? Will you let me alone? I don't know anything about it, and you're pissing off the clown. Look. There's a guy hiding in the shadows around the Lounge of Commerce, just a way up that way. Ask him. Now get off my back already. Talk to the guy hiding around the corner of the Lounge of Commerce and move, and move you jerk. I'm p you're pissing off the clown. Do you know your- do you know what the type of shit your son's up to? I've been so lonely since my husband died. He had a brilliant mind. I miss his genius. No one could ever replace him, but sometimes I wish I could meet someone special. Sorry to bother you again, but I had to give you this rose. Hey, don't get too excited, it's not from me. It's from a sharp-looking gent staying down the block at the penthouse suites. His name's Dr. Brywell, so if you want to thank him in person. But you better hurry, he's leaving for Sunder pretty soon. A romantic doctor from Sunder? At the penthouse suites? Really? I think I will think of it in person. Excuse me. What have I done? You are such an eager bunch. I think she's stuck. Does the clown talk? Do you also want to be a mime? I feel like there's bound to be like a follow-up on this, right? Hello, flying man. I see you're still flying. Could you excuse us? Here, take my ticket to Sunder and sell it. I have further research to do here. Um? Shouldn't you be running off? <clears throat> um, how many tickets to Sunder do I have now? Am I like overachieving right now? Didn't I just get... Two Sunder shuttle tickets. I guess I did need a couple of them, huh? Because I need one for because we have a group of characters. Once you get tickets, do the following to get the bra brain train to Sunder. Yeah, it says we now have enough tickets. Yeah, I guess I gotta think about the fact that I have a party of characters, so I need two tickets, because I assume the pal doesn't count. He's like a toy. Now the two of us have tickets. You're pissing off the clown. Not things I expected to hear today, or say, for that matter. And yet, here we are. Vendomart. Ah, 
Hi, I'm TraderBot Vitz. I got the best deals and I'm looking for quality items. I assume you also have the same stuff. Don't be fooled by the hype. Megalocephalic Wendy is nowhere near as good as Megalos Megalocephalic Fred. Not only does Fred come with the 40 collectible containers, he also sings the special Megalocephalic family theme song in 12 languages. Pretty remarkable, wouldn't you say? You are seriously disturbed. Well, gosh, that's not a very friendly thing to say. Truth hurts, babe. Don't talk to mean- don't talk to mean people, even cute ones. This is Lara Lala. You had no other option, too. You had, your options were, you're disturbed and you need therapy, which are not even that different of things to say. So this is like a gen- oh yeah, Vendomart. There's a gun up there. How many useful things are there up there? Corticom power cell, a uh, power belt cell. This fine power cell will service any local NRG based devices. Just charge it up, slap it on your belt, and your power needs are healthy as handy as hands. Also, look for our special edition sender standard shield cell, providing both power and protection. Specs output 100 energy, max shield, none. Available today! Oh, that's the vent. Ah. Me there's Megalocephalic Wendy. Eight energy. This in three beam. Triple beam gun. I already have one. That's what the. That's what those nightmare dolls are. We saw one of those in town. Why was. Why was she disturbed for knowing about the Megalocephalic Wendy and so on? It seemed like a bit of an ex escalation. Anti Winky protects from Winky. Like the skill is Winky sleepiness, poison, increased block. Protects from Winky, Winky and nuts. So conf nuts must be confusion and Winky must be sleep. Going by like standard JRPG and, and Pokemon effects. Slow. Bindle bag. Hmm. There's a few filters here and there. But now I know that that up there is just the same gun I already have that I found on like the floor. I think there's the same items. I think it just advertised an item that's not even listed here. I seem to have discovered a church, unexpectedly. The pay to pray chapel reliquary? Oh no. Pay to pray? Welcome to pay to pray. The relics of 3600 different religions are housed here within our bank vault secure, bulletproof, pray pod. For only a reasonable fee of 50 loonies, you can be put in the presence of a holy relic from the religion of your choice. From a Gorite glory tether to a Berbulian saint spine, we would guarantee a quality communication with an authentic relic no matter how obscure your, obscure your faith. Would like to purchase a quality time with our prey pod? Uh, no. Remember, money is transient, but your salvation is eternal. Money is is transient, but it's the entire bus the point of your what you're doing, because it's a business model. Hmm. So I think religion's gonna play a, a role in the main story at some point. And then I'll have like a reason to want a specific uh, religious relic, like access to one. Fuck. 
Nope. 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 We're not getting that done in 10 seconds. No siree bulb. Interesting place to find, though. Zip. That's a view and more of the items, I guess. A lot of escalators. Everyone thinks I'm a pushover. Guards always pick on me. They beat me up and stick their fingers at my lunch. What? I was trying to buy a heel grease, but this weird prism was jammed up in the delivery slot. Any idea what it is? This is a holy prism from the School of the Order. I can meditate with this at the pay to, to pray downstairs. Wait, so you pray at those places? I've got a few hexagonal prisms now, don't I? What? What do they... I guess I'll find out. Like, what do they do? Zip. I'll meditate with the pentagonal prism. What a dazzling prism. We graciously accept it as a valid proof of your involvement with the School of Order. Step up to the prey pod. The black cube of perfection will rotate into position shortly. My meditations have proven fruitful. I learned staff sweep. Wait, these all teach me new powers. What? Hexagonal prism. What a dazzling prism. We graciously accept it as valid proof of your involvement with the School of Order. Well... Heal field? You learn healing abilities? So Yammer, then Staff Sweep, then Heal Field of the Three Tiers. <sighs> Why can I click on them to know what they do? <laughs> I feel like I'm not being unreasonable. And I, and I don't think I'm missing anything on the screen that tells me what they do. Like, I, like it seems like the bottom of the screen tells you what you're highlighting right now. But also so does this area sometimes, depending on what you're looking at. If I highlight something here, it shows up here. But if I highlight these things, it shows up down at the bottom of the screen. A bit back and forth. But yeah, these uh, these skills, you can't read what they do, so you just have to wonder, like, what does Yammer do? Does it give them Winky? Does it give them Nuts? <laughs> Staff Sweep is probably a, it might be a multi-target attack. Heal Field probably heals people. Does it multi-target heal? Does it AoE heal? Does it single target heal? Like, I'm not really sure. That was neat, though. So now we know, now we have context for the prisms. Thank you, that random dude. Now back to pissing off clowns. Do you have any new dialogue now that your mom left? Is it your mom, even? Do you even know that woman, or she's standing weirdly close to you? She sure, like, abandoned you in this field. Maybe this is, like, a safe neighborhood or something. Like how tiny he is. Hey, you make opportunities for yourself? If you don't have the stomach for what it takes to succeed, you're a loser. Rah, rah. You're not important in my life, and I doubt you're very important in yours either. You carry your insignificance well. Huh. <laughs> Tell me more, Master Raya. I'm a real piece of shit. That's pretty much my entire ideology. <laughs> Naughty sent you? Why didn't you say so in the first place? I've never talked to you before. This is the first thing I've said to you, Diva Dofer. You need tickets? How many? Where? Nah. 
Why don't you then? Sunder is only for smart people, right? I'm sure a genius like yourself can find a ticket on his own. Yeah. Actually. I guess here's the lazy option, is I can just buy tickets. Although it's not that lazy, I have to still have to talk to several people. But I, I essentially got my tickets on accident while just trying to explore. Funny how that goes. Look at Ra Ra bragging about his investments. Tss. I bet my portfolio is bigger than his. Mm hmm, girthy. My investments are firmer and last longer. Once again, innuendo. <laughs> um. Door? Oh, that's the door. <laughs> Look at what, like, which door is door? I can't tell which door is door. Help me. <laughs> Loading screens are strangely placed at times. Ah, it's a taco. Hurry, right, step, step, step the hell away from my taco, death wish, says Ziki Zoma. I lost them all, twice. I bet you think I'm stupid. First, I get all hooked up on the latest fad, tacos. Collect them all, they said. Everyone's got one, they said. Dead the scandal. The internal memo leaked that taco stands for totally arbitrary collectible objects. They were laughing in the face of the consumer. We were all doomed. Then the taco burnings, the suicides. Some people had spent their savings on them when the bottom fell out. But I kept mine. I kept them. I still loved them. Then I fell on hard times. I sold everything. My sled, my, f my furniture, my sled. Finally, I had to sell the collection for chump change. And then a year later, their popularity resurged. People were retro proud to own them. And everyone who had had them made a mint. Not me. I was penniless. But I worked my way back up. I have money now. But there's no tacos on the market. Collectors hoard them. They're status symbols. Everyone I see and can't have. Everyone I see and can't have mocks me. I need to heal this wound. This pain I've had eating away at me for so long. Can you help me? If you find tacos for me, I'll reward you handsomely. I have contacts, please. This is the, ta the taco mert guy. This isn't a chance to get a taco. It's a chance to profit off of tacos, evidently. You found a taco. Cool. Here's a little something of an appreciation. Find some more. I'll give you something cooler. Aha! Uh -huh. it's, a, it's a fucking double ultra plot twist. You're like, ah, they're totally arbitrary collectible objects. That means they're worthless. Just kidding. You found five tacos. Amazing. Time minder tears. Bring me tacos. I'll give you great rewards. Oh, where are we? I only have six, so the last milestone was only one taco ago. It's gonna be a bit before I make more progress there. Hey, it's the guy that I'm probably supposed to be avoiding. Whoops. Look at him. Does he think we don't know? Does he think we're ever going to respect him? Talk about this little clone over there. He's one of Detta's kids. Accuse him of dirty money and he'll cry foul, insisting Detta's gone legit. It's the same old story. Detta may be a big fish on an Akronox whenever one's scrouging for money, but he'll find it's a very different story up here. Every couple of years, you get a small time... You get small time hoods who make it back on... or whatever... make it big back on whatever armpit they scrawled out from under. Now they want to exploit the wealth of Sender Station. But the Sender Economic and Trade Commission is much too tough to nut a nut to crack for the class of man. I mean, look at this suit. Although you're rather shabbily dressed, I can tell your from your demeanor that you're, you were once a person of wealth. You've got the look in your eye of a man who lost everything. As the Berbulians say, may you live in better times. Judgy. He's all classist and shit. So the guy that was beating me up at the beginning of the game, he's a clone? They're all clones. Kill. Murder. Rage. That unbelievable Shiza. He took my sale. It was my sale. I earned it. What did he do for it? He stabbed me in the back. I was about to sign a multi-million loody deal with a client. The fees would have set me clean for months. But someone from my firm, my own firm, called him and told him it was a bad deal. Turned it around to make a buck for himself. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. This is a call to action. 
I'm not going to stand for this. I want some response here. I'm going to call my regional and tell him he needs to turn this thing around. I mean, the guy blew it out to make his own fees. We're in the same firm and he sabotaged me, stabbed me in the back quicker than... I just can't believe it. Just can't believe it. I just lost everything in a bad investment with some Gorian businessman. My life is over. I can't even win at Zong. I don't even know what, what the, what's what's Zong. <laughs> what the fuck? How do you play? Wow! Zong for one one. The objective of Zong is to try to get the other player's energy bar down to zero. Your energy bar reduces by 20% every time a ball hits your side of the playing field. You also have your defensive wall that will protect you from an enemy trying to send the ball to your end if the field as well as... Oh, as your, as your end of the field as well as serve as an enemy energy reserve for your energy bar. You can take segments from your own wall and transfer its energy to your energy bar by first hitting the ball. The ball will then change the color of your paddle in the direction of your in the direction of your own wall segments. Each segment replenishes 5% energy. The bonus flying saucer will refresh your own wall if it is hit, while the ball, when the ball is your color, it will refresh both if it is hit when white. The, this is some Blurns ball shit, what the fuck am I reading? The pulsing purple star will turn the ball into three balls for a short period, the first person to lose all the energy. Okay. It's just super breakout like Pong, right? Oh god. Ah! It's very fast. I immediately almost lost. Wow, it's just as fun as I thought head-to-head -head breakout would be, which is three years of waiting for the stupid middle barrier to go away. Wait. Okay. So I can refill my health at least. But you can only break the barrier when it's your... So the ball only breaks blocks if, it, if you're the color of the block. Oop, hello. Oop, fuck, it goes so fast. This is so hard. It's aggressively fast. Oh no. I'm not even trying to destroy all my wall, it's just hard to make it go at an angle without killing myself in the process. Oh god, it's so fast and small. Uh, uh. Ah! That was bad! They, they, why did they come straight back at me? I win! Uh oh. Oh god, okay, it's- it's- Ha! Ah! Came back way faster than I was ready. Hey! Got him. This is weird. So it's- yeah, it's- it's head-to-head -head Pong in breakout style where there's a bunch of blocks that break. But they're moving? Like Frogger? As opposed to being static, because in Breakout they're static, usually. Oh my god, the alien heals your entire bar. Uh oh. Pfft, that's amazing that it hit nothing. Uh, hey, self damage. No! Okay, so this is the only way the round ever ends, right? Is when you get the super ball thing where there's too many balls. They're all on my side! Wait, I won? How did he manage to lose there? You win, I bet you feel pretty good about yourself, huh? What? I must have caught that Millennium Bug. I beat the AI. Well, I guess you feel pretty dumb now, huh? I haven't even played this game before and I already won, so... Stupid. 
I'd never play that again. That wasn't fun at all. Greetings. I'm Trader Bot Lama Lao. Want to trade? So there's just a bunch of those guys here. They're not different from each other. I haven't saved for like an hour. That's not generally a good idea. But yeah, that was like, yeah. I, I never loved Breakout because you're just like slowly hitting it at a bunch of blocks. Like, I think I like, I think I thought I would like Breakout just by looking at it. But then I got around to actually playing Breakout and I was like, oh, this is really tedious. Then I saw like games like Wiz Orb and stuff like that that were like trying to riff on Breakout. And I'm like, this is not great. I don't love this. And so Head to Head Breakout just features a lot of like trying to deal with the fact that there's a wall of shit between you and your enemy. And it's like Pong, but more boring. You cast an interesting shadow on the wall as you came through the hall. You ever notice what your silhouette looks like? I heard some good things about you. Eurokan speaks highly. And his name's David Salsa. And I speak highly of Eurokan, so it's all good, right? He says you might make easy and do some resistance work for me while you're here. He says you're a punch-out king, eager for the physical physical. So why don't you look over my shoulder? See that clone at the bar? You might remember wading through his aftershave. That squirt works for Delta, Detta. There's a heavy Gorian presence here on the station, less so in the commons where the decent folk mingle, but down in the root tubes and, be and beyond in the red light. Mostly he's trying to smooth over relations with Detta's drug connections. The Gorian suspected Detta knocked off one of their runners in the bricks for an easy profit. I figure he's got an ulterior motive for being here. I sure would like to know what it is. With the two of us, and a little something in Squirt's drink, I'm sure we could find out. There's an apothecary, oh, why mince words, a drug dealer who could provide a mild sleeping agent we could slip into his drink. I'd hunt him down myself, but I'm afraid I'd lose Squirt. If you're willing, sniff out the drug seller and drop back here with some sleep eye. I'll keep an eye on Squirt. Sleep eye. So earlier I wrote down a red light district, so I just added sleep eye drug to that. Hmm. Don't worry, I'm watching his shadow on the wall. From there? The lighting doesn't support that at all. You better deal find that dealer and buy something to pipe to squirt to spike squirt's drink. He's getting fidgety over there. We're gonna drug somebody. Super ethical. Oh, you can see the the transparency issue where there's like a glass. It looks like a glass pane behind each one. Almost like there's like a parallax scrolling series of fake uh, alcohol here. Pick your poison. Lemon fizz. Have a pleasant day at Sender Station. You sure you want to be talking to me? I'm a representative for Dedacor. Well, it's nice to see that not everyone around here is so judgmental. People jump to conclusions about me, you know. I can't say I don't blame them. There ain't no use denying that Mr. Detta has a questionable background. I can't deny that. But he runs a clean business now. Honestly, I should know. I'm on his board of directors. In addition to being a legitimate businessman, Vendelin Detta is quite an erudite gentleman. Not only is he a generous benefactor of the cultural arts, he also owns one of the largest private collections of mistech in the galaxy. Problem is, his reputation's in the toilet. All the rumors about his background make it hard to broker any deals. All the rumors that are true about his background, because he did shit. Hell, I can't even get a drink. The bartender says it's because she can't see me behind the bar. What are you laughing at? You laughing at me? Herring Rock? You, you can't say he's legitimate now. He fucking robbed me. No, I'd rather not be at the center of your amusement. Excuse me. Detta fucking robbed me. He showed up all mob style and threatened me and took my shit. Or m my shit. <laughs> there, there we go. You can't pretend he's all, like, squeaky clean now. That ain't how it goes. That's not how he rolls. You cannot fool me. I've met him before. That is a really very strangely placed loading screen. 
Mostly because at first you walk into that room and you're like, how do I get out of this? How do I proceed? Like, the first door opened. That must mean I can go in here, right? But the doors don't work because you're sitting there clicking on them. And you're like, I... None of the doors are interactive in this room, but they let me in, which that must mean that I can go further. Why would they let me in here if it doesn't go anywhere? And then you finally rub your face against the door and it's like, oh, loading screen's right here. Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. What's with the open faces? I swear to class, man. I'm trying to be reasonable, but those corticans freak me out. Ever since I was a kid, I felt their single, unblinking eye was staring straight into my soul. Now they're everywhere, and I can't avoid them. Imagine trying to negotiate a, a multi-million loony deal with someone you can feel so naked around. You ever feel like going to a Cortican and poking his huge, unblinking eye with your finger? Did I just lose my credibility? What is up with people and wanting to fuck with Cortican eyes? Slicing up eyeballs, I want you to know. Girlie's so groovy, I want you to know. It's like you can't go anywhere these days without coming across a Cortican product. They make one of everything. They dominate every market, every field. Anytime something new and innovative comes out, Cortican rushes to their own version without, within just a few days. Always a little more useful and a little bit cheaper. Unethical business practices? Hell, Cortican wrote the book on the subject. They've got an entire industrial espionage division with double agents in almost every competing company in the galaxy. They deny it, of course. Hell, I bet Corticum's even got the, some scam worked out with the SET Commission to avoid antitrust laws. Those cycloptic little bastards are ruining the industry. Hmm. So we have a whole race that everyone's iffy with, and they accuse of, like, running society and so on. Undertone's distressing. I think this will be my last conference. Every year, it seems a little more pointless. I'm sick of making money for other people. This isn't what I thought my life was going to be about. I must be getting older. Maybe it's just the drugs talking. Or maybe it's just the drugs talking is always an interesting qualifier to add. Sender station, theoretical, science... Museum. Does this door open? Yes, okay. Is your yellow suit gonna wheel deal or not? He better pull his feet out of the ice and pen to paper this sucker, or else he's biting off more than, it, than the chew. Spin and 65 tonight. Not tomorrow. No ants pants this time, unless the blue book without jerking off is on the dime. I'm not kidding. Neither am I. That's why we pay or play at 68. We are cheap yellow suits crying home to one eye mama. Buck or walk, pal. Any way we slice it, we're getting squeezed on the dime. I have done the math, and you're pulling cover blow. Don't deny it, or we walk. Squawk all you want. If you want to buck your boy, better dig deep. We got peaches on the property, and if you don't buck, someone will. In fact, I, I spy Shaz Monito bricking change over there with a, with a smile. Big deal. He'll cry money, brothers, and pinch you on the back end deal. Who wants that? Nobody. Let's buck before I walk. Sixty-six and a half. You try to make me laugh or cry. Your eyes, you eyes over ears. Spit out the Trotsky. Six eights and the magic number if you want a buck. Otherwise, walk. Sixty-seven. Tonight only. Buck or walk. Buck. Tell your yellow suit is he's pinching dime like a kneezer. You better ante it by, by moon over while the sheets are still wet. While the sheets, this is the fucking way they talk. While they're still, while the sheets are still wet. I'm hungry. Want to spin to moon burger? And get gut gush, you're crazy. It's all fucking jargon and nonsense. And half of it's just for the sake of it, as opposed to having that much more efficiency in the way you speak, I'm sure. Just immersion in the culture. Fucking stock trading as far as I can tell. Mm -hmm.